Hello, this is a video demonstration of how to play Probably Archery. Uh, this is the demo version of the game which you can download for free now on our Steam Greenlight page. Uh, please go there and vote for the game, we're building this out into a full version which will have more of these single player levels as well as a bunch of multiplayer modes. We're looking at Razor Hydra support which would be really cool. Uh, the current demo version and the final version of course will have Oculus Rift support so if you have an Oculus Rift I really recommend checking out this demo, I think it works quite well. Um, we have gamepad support, so I'll show you those controls uh, shortly after showing the keyboard and mouse controls. Uh, so the point of this game is sort of to uh, sort of battle the controls in a way similar to something like uh, Surgeon Simulator or Quop, one of these games where you control the joints and uh, a lot of the fun is in actually trying to get the arms or the legs or whatever it is, in this case your two arms, to do what you need. Uh, a secret key I'll show you off is the I key on the keyboard which will cycle through arm colors so that's just a little extra uh, bonus for watching this video. Um, so down the bottom you can see the controls for the game. Uh, the point of this game is in this mode I want to shoot the targets. So the first thing you need to do is grab an arrow. So if I hold down the left mouse button uh, I'll go up and grab an arrow. If I release it I will uh, drop the arrow. So holding down the left mouse button and keeping it held I'm going to grab this arrow. Then if I move the mouse I can move the right wrist. Now that doesn't really achieve too much so let's also hold down the E key and move the mouse and now I can by moving the mouse up and down I will bend the elbow by moving it left and right I will twist the arm. Uh, I can also then hold the Q key instead of the E key and this will allow me to move the shoulder so I can move the arm in sort of big movements now by holding down the Q key. So through combination of holding no keys and moving the mouse, holding the E key or holding the Q key, I can move the mouse, also move the arm to where I need it relative to the bow. So the point at this point is to get the arrow in a position relative to the bow that makes for a good, uh, a good sort of uh, position to aim the shot down the shaft, down the bow. And the way we do this now is to hold down the right mouse button or we can hold down the space button instead to knock the arrow. So you see I've moved it in position, I can hold down the right mouse button and that will knock it on the string at that position. So once it's knocked, I'm holding down both left mouse button and right mouse button now, I can move the mouse back and forth to change the power of the shot. If I was to not have the arm in a good position, say up here, and knocked it, the string would come up here and I now have the arm in a very odd position as you can see. So uh, it makes it difficult to aim if you have it in an odd position so it makes it important to try and get it uh, as close to the center of the bow as you would like unless you're trying to do some sort of crazy trick shot which uh, I would recommend once you uh, get used to the controls in the first place. Uh, so once it's knocked and we've got the bow say drawn back the next thing I'm going to want to do is move the left arm. So I can do all the exact movements I did with the, uh, the right arm but I can do it with the left arm by holding down shift. So as I hold down shift, I can no longer pull the uh, right arm back and forth on the string or move any of its joints, which you can't do once it's knocked anyway. But I can instead move the left arm. So I'm holding down the shift key now and moving the mouse and it will move the left wrist. Holding shift and pressing and holding Q as well will move the left elbow. The same as the right arm here. Up and down for bending, left and right will twist the arm. And if I hold down shift and hold down Q, I'm now moving the left shoulder. So through combination of these different movements I can line up my shot with a target and now I can let go of the left mouse button and shoot over the target. That was a pretty terrible shot, let's quickly redeem ourselves. Okay, so that's how you can do it with the mouse and keyboard. Uh, once you get good at the game you should be able to quickly move the arrow to where you want it, uh, move this around, quickly adjust things to get it in a position you want, release and miss targets quite quickly. Missing targets is very important and probably archery. Okay, so now let's show the gamepad controls. Uh, all I have to do is grab my Xbox 360 controller. If I move the sticks or press a button, it'll show you the Xbox controls in the bottom there. So the main difference with the Xbox controller or, or any gamepad controller on to your PC is that I can move both arms at the same time. The left stick moves the joint on the left arm and the right stick moves the joint on the right arm. So I can cycle through which joint is being moved by pressing the left and right 
shoulder or, or bumper buttons. So if I hit it a couple times, I can move the left shoulder over. If I hit it on the right, hit the right shoulder button, I can cycle through the different joints on the right arm to control. And just moving the stick will move those joints. Now the other two buttons are the triggers. So holding down the right trigger is the same as the left mouse in the keyboard and mouse control. So now I'm holding down the right trigger button and that is keeping this arrow held. So now I'm going to move these around, get it in position, and I'm going to hold down the left trigger. And now I'm holding down both triggers. I have the arrow held and knocked. I'm going to pull back on the right stick. I can move the stick back and forth to change the power. And now I'm going to move the left arm around to try to get a decent shot off here and maybe hit. Let's try and hit the flag instead of uh, a target. So I want to get this so that I can see down the shaft a bit and allows me to uh, judge the shot a bit better. Okay, so move this up. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to release the right trigger. Okay, and I hit the flag there a bit. And uh, so this control works quite well as well. It's uh, a little bit different, like you move both arms at the same time, so maybe pros with the gamepad might even be better than pros with the keyboard and mouse. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, so that's basically how you control probably archery. Um, that'll allow you to jump into these other modes once you're used to it and uh, take on, say, this Berserker. Uh, so a lot of these modes are sort of time limited to get some pressure on you and uh, you've got to take these guys out quickly. Obviously, having made this game, I'm, I'm quite good at it. I could take this guy out if I wanted to at any time. Except for when he's already gone through my bow and I fire too late. Well, that's on video forever, isn't it? Alright, thanks for watching uh, this quick demonstration of Probably Archery. Hopefully now you can do a little bit better in the game if you weren't doing well before. Uh, I'm going to pop a link in the current version to this video down the bottom of the game, so this might be how you found the video. Uh, Please go vote for it on green light. We're going to build it out. The rift and hydra support is going to be really, really cool. Doing both of those at the same time is going to be amazing. Um, please follow us on all the things that you can follow us on. We're going to have lots of updates. We're doing lots of stuff on, on the development of the game, talking about how we're developing the Oculus Rift support and, and sort of how we came to uh, a lot of these control ideas and uh, ideas of the ridiculous visuals in the game as well uh, in various places. So uh, please check out the game. Please vote for it on green light, tell your friends, all the things that you can do. Thanks a lot.